Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome to Jazz Punk. Um, recently I was talking with my beautiful wife about walking simulators. Um, we recently watched one that... It was, it was set like in the Norse... Oh, can I warn everyone that there's going to be a shitload of... Um, epilepsy stuff coming up for like the next two-ish minutes, so... Bear that in mind. Talking with my wife about walking simulators, and it occurred to me that Jazz Punk, a game that I haven't played in years, is a walking simulator. And it's fantastic. Um, and it uses all of the things that walking simulators are usually made fun of for in its own way. And then it also just presents such a... Yeah, this is what I was describing. It presents such a weird and unusual world and game that's so fun to go through that I was like, you know what, I'm going to play it. So this takes place in 1959. Um, and the reason I decided today was the day I was going to play it was because uh, it has been 60 years since the erection of the Berlin Wall. And a very good reminder that walls are really not good if you're not dealing with barbarians. Hadrian, Great Wall of China. Yeah. Even that shit that uh, Julius Caesar did with uh, Vercingetorix. <laughs> so, um, this is obviously a very Cold War kind of game. However, it takes place in a world where everything was conquered by Japan, which is why you'll notice that everything is written in Japanese. I do not read Japanese. So I will be unable to help you here. Um, this is going my weird RPGs playlist, even though it is not a role-playing game in the traditional sense. Because, you know what, it's just so weird I wanted to include it in there. It's also very fun and very short. This will not be a long LP, uh, if anyone was worried. Alright, we've landed at Darlington Station, and uh, that suitcase contained us. We're playing as Polyblank. Um, the name Polyblank is, and you can see that this kind of looks like a train, but we can actually just peek over it and see that there is a real train over there. Uh, on the suitcase, we can see Libsyn. Uh, that's somewhere in the Middle East, I think. Fuji. Yeah, plenty of stickers. And of course, in the same way that you need a guitar-shaped case to ship a guitar, you need a man-shaped case to ship a man. Um, we don't know what Polyblank looks like, which is part of what allows us to project ourselves on him, as you do with a character. Um, I'm trying to see if I can jump up here is all. One thing about uh, him is that we see him in a live-action version of it, and he's like, you know, just a very average man. But he's also able to pass as a woman very convincingly, so who knows? You can hear loud typewriter noises. Wooly station. Um, See, so yeah, this doesn't... Just settle in. You know what? This is going to be a good Alpita marathon. Mysterious cardboard box. Guard of Fairfax, import and export limited. Slide by you there, madam. This game uses a lot of Broker and Brewster Velocipede Co. A Velocipede is one of those large bicycles with a huge front wheel. Um, another thing before I go in this door. This game uses a lot of like comedy in it, but in the same way that like a rubber chicken is funny. It's not funny, but a rubber chicken was seen as funny for so long that now everyone's just like, oh yeah, rubber chicken, that means funny. And so as a joke, a character will throw a rubber chicken even though the rubber chicken itself is not and maybe never was funny. And yet, the absurd deadpan way at which it plays this, it's not funny. It's not a funny game. It's just absurd, but I find that funny. So. Now, honey, the director will be right with you. The director will be with us, so... Huh? We have to peruse these articles. VR Guide. Does Virtucon scanning cause schizophrenia? The director is ready for you. Yeah, I'm just going to look at these. Local Neurocast. So, 
this is only a uh, 65 yen newspaper, which is like 50 cents, even less so in, eight, uh, in 59. Black Hat. Um, October. 1956 point B and this one is at 32 K maybe that's 32,000 yen but it could also be 32 kilobytes a black hat is a type of hacker um, they're named after the cliche Wild West characters a cowboy in a black hat is assumed to be a bad guy and a cowboy in a white hat is a pseudo a good guy. As a result, hackers, black hat hackers are people who are malicious about their hacking. White hat hackers are usually more pleasant about it. Leak spec on the lockout ship. How to get the most out of your bypass ROM. Social engineering tips. That's one of the things about hacking that no one really talks about. It is way more efficient to be social as a hacker than not. Because you know what the best way to get someone to tell you their password is? Uh, hey, I'm from the office. Can you tell me your password so I can log into this machine? And it works. Reduction algorithms, hysteresis signaling, and more. Reader's digestive organs. Black market prices guide. So this is how much it would cost for any particular organ. It appears to be an old British pound symbol, an American dollar, and the yen. Soak, the wetware enthusiast magazine. Um, wetware is organic computer gear. Originally, when you were building something, hardware and software were literally hard pieces and soft pieces of equipment. So hardware was like metal, like screws, and software was wood or fabric, something that you could, something soft, you know? Um, however, because of that, hardware now just means, because of linguistic drift, hardware now means something physical. That was me hitting my desk, by the way. I don't have anyone at my door. I better not, at least. Um, and software is things digital, things that don't really exist. Um, and so wetware is a science fiction term to describe when human brains are co-opted as processors. And that's what a lot of this game uses. It uses a lot of like organic technology, but because everyone is so barely organic, like, look, th look at this human here. Look at that. That's a human, human passing. Um... And this is 5M yen. Barrier nodes, are they safe? Non-stick catheters. Build your own EKG box, schematic inside. How to prevent synaptic seizures and mind melt. A synapse is a nerve ending in the brain, a piece of connection in, you know, gray matter and tissue. Uh, and a seizure between, a seizure is when multiple parts of your brain activate at once. And it's why using 100% of your brain is not a good thing. Because that's what a seizure is. Mind melt is presumably just a slang term for... That's even trademarked, in fact. A slang term for your brain melting under the stress of VR. Playbot. Low gauges. Adjustable and bi-stable. High voltages. <laughs> you can see that these are train or airplane uh, seats that have been ripped out of a train. Perhaps this train... Uh, to serve here as seats. There's technology patterning here. And then over here, saxophones lessons. Acoustic or piezoelectric. Group of private lessons. Chords and stilettos. You choose the style how you want to learn. Rate is 45k yen an hour. Call Mr. Livermore. And then not a typical phone number right there. For sale, a 49 point B table fortrum. Two door manual transmission. 12 track, not an 8 track, it's got 12. Lithium disc player. So it's made of lithium and it plays discs, but there's still a track. Uranium 236 rods recently replaced. Reactor's been fully serviced. This is nothing. And we can see that this is actually all a train station. The director will see you now. Thank you. Um, yeah, I just really want to dig in. Input, output. Again, that's another technology thing. And secretary X, or possibly nine. Can we read anything here? No, okay. Advanced Neurogenics and Radiotics, Volume 6. 
Let's say Turing wrote that. Can't read that. Oh, there's another one there. So, director's office, as you can see, is in this train car. And he even has the things here and there. Please, have a seat. We much business to discuss. Basically, we need you to infiltrate the Soviet consulate. They've taken some of our important technology, and it's imperative that we get it back in the right hands. As per usual, here's your mission or subscription. Don't take too many. If you need me, I'll be in the wine cellar. So you can see a martini on his desk. Um... There are ads, as you would have for a train, plus CBEX and magnetic valves. A lot of booze up there. Martini on his desk. A ramshackle bookshelf. And you can see that everything is written here in Japanese first and then in English, because Japanese is the default language. Infiltrating the Soviet consulate, PLO, and obtaining the data cartridge. And we can see that by cartridge, they mean a giant cassette tape like this is a data single if we're being honest here they've just blocked off the rest of the train they didn't actually bother to change that at all and by in the wine cellar he's just passed out under his desk as we can see uh this computer is wonderful it is this obnoxious <laughs> i didn't know about that he sticks gum under his desk, and you can take it. Anyway, um, yeah, it's an Amplodyne SV-128. And it is this mess of vacuum tubes and dials. Can't exactly read that. I've had to turn the resolution down so I can... There we go. Uh, so I can have my stuff running. And yeah, this is our prescription of missional. This is how we get from... This is how we actually get from... Like, the start of the game to our missions. So. Um, I, I, I adore this game. This game is so absurd. And like, I wish... I only wish that there was more of it. I wish that there was m more and that this was a longer game. I haven't played this in about six years. Maybe less. It's probably been four years. It's probably been about four years um, since I've last played this game. So if I miss something, well, that's why. Let's take a look at these. Uh, Wine Paris 1702. Bernov classic age since 1224? What is that? 1924, maybe. A crown. And Shidosik Vodka. See, so yeah, this is an interesting thing that's almost like a um, through a scanner darkly thing of taking drugs to get to your mission, but you literally take there. Raytheon Pharmaceuticals, Central Depot, 222 Schmidt Road, Vera City, North Dakota. And then a code that I don't recognize. For John Doe, our code name is Polly Blank, but obviously we need a real name. Take one capsule every mission or until reality is sufficiently augmented. 64 capsules of missional amphibamine dextrose. Dextrose is a kind of sugar compound similar to maltose or sucrose or glucose. Glucose is the normal one. Fructose is found in fruits. Dextrose is an unusual one. And this is a play on amphetamine and amphibian, I think. Uh, and it's been prescribed by Dr. Hom Homer Dudley. And it is... Oh, should I wait until this to post it? Because I was thinking I would post it on the 60th anniversary of the Berlin Wall. But like... Ooh, this would be a good day for the last episode, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Let me write that down. All right, back in. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cut it here. Um, 
I've had fun, but I want these episodes to be very short. Um, it's something I enjoy about doing these. With Off, the intent was for it to be a little shorter, but that game is actually a little longer. Um, with Hylex, I had a very, very short, platable LP experience. That was very nice. So, I've been Alfred. This has been Jazzpunk. Please buy this game. It is excellent. And have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, bye. <laughs>